Noko, like we were down over at Gianni's, and they fucking called me, I was like, yo, wait a minute, sir. Oh, hey, what's up? Alright guys, so we've got a new bench session coming up because it's beach season, and we're going to get a back suit, basically, and uh, but functionality-wise, uh, bench pressing actually does help with a lot of other uh, functional exercises. Obviously, it helps with any pressing, strict press, push press, push jerk, uh, really great for helping maintain strength with locking weights out, especially overhead, if you think about a heavy push jerk or overhead squats. Having a stronger bench press, stronger triceps, stronger pecs are, is really going to help with keeping weights locked out overhead. So from a functional standpoint, it helps with that. Uh, from a non-functional standpoint, it makes your chest bigger, makes you look cool, you've got your shirt off at the beach, um, and it's fun. So, but we just want to go through a couple uh, you know, main points. A lot of people probably don't understand that there's a, there really is a proper way to set up for the bench press. I spent a lot of years actually coaching power lifters, so I spent a lot of years coaching this lift, believe it or not. So we're just going to take you through the setup here first. Um, so obviously we've got everything set up already. We've got the bench. Um, the end of the bench is basically below the, the bar on setup. Um, and this is obviously at a height that I can reach and lift off myself um, from laying back down. So anyways. Um, but some things that I want to talk about, first you're going to have basically what we'll call three points of contact. I guess we won't count the head. You'll have your shoulder blades, your butt, and your feet will be the three main points of contact. So starting at the top and working our way down, if I turn around here for you, imagine I'm holding the bar. We want to lock our shoulder blades into place by pulling them back and down and holding that position locked tight the entire time you're pressing. So when I'm pressing, I'm just focusing on moving my arms my back is tight and rigid, I'm not moving around within the pressing motion. With the butt, I'm also going to touch on the lower back as well. You're going to have a natural arch in your back, nothing excessive or anything stupid that you've seen on YouTube. We're not going to do that, but we also don't want to just be laying flat back because then we don't have tension in the glutes or the, the lower back. Feet are going to be pulled back so that your, your uh, feet or the middle of your foot is basically under your knee. Your heels should still be in contact with the ground and we're going to be driving our feet into the ground pretty hard so that we're creating tension all through the lower body up into the butt and the back, creating that tension through the backside to create stability so we're not wobbling around while we're trying to bench press, but it's also activating more muscle groups like the lats, some of the, the upper back muscle uh, groups as well instead of just pecs and triceps. Okay, so that's kind of the, the rundown. Uh, so I'll demonstrate what that'll kind of look like, but before we move any farther, the bench press is the one exercise in here where you definitely have to have a spotter at all times. You're literally holding weight over your face. So if, even if it's something light and you lose your grip or something, we got to have a spot. Okay? So you know, when we bench, what we usually do is we have a guy, one, the spotter will help lift the weight off the rack, which we'll kind of talk through in a second here. And then he'll kind of keep his hands close. He's not just standing there like a turd in the mud. He's got his hands out and ready just in case something goes wrong and he can react quickly and help grab the bar and lift it up. Uh, and then, you know, spotting is it's pretty straightforward, helping someone finish that last rep that they're not able to. So, so here's what, uh, what it's going to look like. Our setup here, I'm going to pin my shoulder blades back and down. And I'm actually going to kind of use my body weight to wiggle into position, so to speak. You can see my butt's on the pad and I've got that natural arch in my back. I've pulled my feet back to about under my knees where my heels are still on the ground. From here, I find my grip. We'll talk specifically about what types of grip you should use. There's wide bench, what people would call regular bench and close grip bench, but we're not going to get into that in this video. All right, now I'll make sure that my hands are even just like any other lift. Maintaining tension in that upper back. All right, when I'm ready to have a lift off, I'm going to let them know by counting down from three to one. So ready? Here, three, two, one, and off. Let the bar settle into place first. Elbows should be locked out. Make sure the lats are still tight. And then we're going to lower to the nipple line, or slightly lower than it, and press back up. Okay. One thing we want to make sure uh, that we're that we're not doing is as we press up from the bottom, we're not spreading our shoulder blades and pushing our shoulders up. We see that all the time. We want to make sure that keep, we keep the shoulder blades, the shoulders locked back and down at all times. So we're really just moving at the arm, okay? Pure stability right there. So we want to see very no, very little to no movement coming out of the body other than just the arms, okay? When we're done, our racket, spiraling really help. So that's the basics of the bench press set. And 
Miss anything? Nope. We're all good. All right. So get ready to look. <laughs> 